This month's tool tip is about the Partial Applique tool. The partial Applique tool requires that the object have been created with Auto Applique. This feature we covered in tool tip number 8. If you'd like to review that, this is where we've created the apple design that you see here. Once you've created the apple, you can change to the different fill types and put different fabrics in. And then if you move to allow these applique designs to overlap, you can see that we would have a problem in stitch out in that a bump would be created as this cover stitch would be underneath the green fabric that will be stitched out last in the design. If you look at the color film, we can see that the red apple will stitch first, then the yellow and the green will stitch last. To eliminate the cover stitching from underneath the applique, we use the partial applique tool. It's as easy as selecting the entire design and selecting partial applique. Automatically, the cover stitching is deleted from the secondary objects. The primary object stitches completely, but the cover stitching and the objects underneath has been trimmed away automatically for you, and this is ready for stitch out.